solving a problem like this, um, what we're going to want to do is see, you know, remember guys, we can't convert this to exponential form because there's two logarithms. So we have to make sure we see if we can condense this down to one logarithm. We can't cancel them out because they're not equal to each other. Right? We, we always like did that, you know, set them equal to each other, we could eliminate them, but that was only when they're equal to each other. So here what I'm going to do, want to do is want to condense these down to one logarithm. So I can do that by saying log base 4. Remember, by using the quotient rule of logarithms, states this would be n plus 1 over n minus 2. Okay. Now that I have one simple logarithm, now what I can do is I can rewrite this in exponential form, which states 4 to the first power equals n plus 1 over n minus 2. Now we need to solve for n, right? So over here, I have an n in the numerator and then in the denominator. So first thing I need to do is get the n minus 2 off that denominator. So I want to subtract by n minus 2 on both sides. All right? You can write over 1 if you want to. I'm going to be moving on both sides. So therefore, this we now will eliminate itself. And I'll have 4 times n minus 2 equals n plus 1. So now to solve for n, we need to simplify both sides and then get the n by itself. So therefore, I have 4n minus 8 equals n plus 1 minus n. Get 3n minus 8 equals 1. Add 8. 3n equals 9. Divide by 3. n equals 3. Yes. Why n minus 2 divided by n minus 2 equals 1. 1 times n plus 1 is n plus 1. Wait, 4 over 4, which equals 1, right? So we can just say they undo each other to get us to the multiple of 1. You don't have to multiply it through because these are going to multiply. These are going to divide out to one, so it's just going to leave you with n plus one. Anybody have any other questions on this product? Or I'm sorry, on this problem. No, good.